how are you hope you are all doing well uh, in this video I am going to show you how you can implement FCM in Flutter basically FCM is a Firebase cloud messaging service which help you to target uh, advertisement on the apps or you can notify uh, users by using FCM so in this video I am going to implement and I am going to show you how you can use FCM using uh, with your Flutter applications. So uh, I have created front end for the application. Uh, let me show it to you by restarting the app. Uh, this is the main. Uh, initially, it launched the splash screen, uh, which contains basically dot coders uh, image and one text search by dot coder. Uh, sorry, I have not changed it. Let me change it. Uh, FCM by dot coder. Initially, uh, when it, this screen comes into action, it basically uh, check for the Firebase user. If Firebase user is null, then it send it to you, send you to the sign up screen. Uh, but if the user is not null, it means that you are already logged in. So uh, you will be redirected towards the home screen. So uh, this is the screen. Basically, it is the sign up screen. Uh, it have three uh, text fields and two buttons. Uh, and I have did all the stuff uh, from my side. So initially when you create account you basically land up on this screen. You enter your uh, name, you enter your email, you enter your password and then it basically validates. I have applied some validation on that. Uh, if your password is empty it will uh, send you that it is required. So all the validation stuff is done. So when the validation is successfully uh, validated then basically we are uh, using getx for state management uh, we have a controller named auth controller uh, and inside auth controller we have created one method create my user it basically uh, accepts email password and name and then it create a firebase user using this email and password and after successfully creating the user it then registered uh, your detail to the file store and inside the user's collection uh, name email and password is get stored into the user's collection so that's a story behind uh, sign up or create my user method now let's see how we are going to register uh, first of all i'm going to uh, register one demi account so it is uh, test my username is test and uh, my email is test1 at gmail.com and password is one two three four five six super simple and hackable password so now let's create account i have clicked on create account now it will create my account uh, as you can see uh, it have redirected me towards the login screen so when the user uh, create the password uh, or user create account uh, in this auth controller oh, sorry sorry in this auth controller after successful uh, storing information into the cloud fire store uh, it then basically uh, sends you toward the login screen okay in this login screen we have uh, two text fields one is email and password now let's enter the email and password that we have created account uh, test one at gmail.com and simple password let's click on sign in uh, now you can see guys uh, i have successfully uh, redirected toward the home screen this is basically a very super simple home screen in which uh, in the upper section it is showing the login user deal uh, username is test and email is test at gmail.com uh, and then it is showing a uh, following how many users are following and uh, these are the users basically registered in the firebase let me show it to you uh, i am on the um, firebase account and basically uh, i am let's check how users are there so basically there are basically two users one is uh, test1 at gmail.com and another user is osama so uh, the data is coming from the firestore 
uh, and we not show uh, in this video because I know that you guys are well trained so you can uh, implement these simple stuff by yourself now we are working on our agenda uh, is to implement FCM with our application so for this first of all we have to uh, install a plugin in our pubspec.jml file uh, it is firebase messaging firebase messaging uh, when once you install this plugin uh, or for the first time when you want to uh, connect your application with uh, FCM so what you have to do uh, make sure you go to the build inside the app module and you make it this check multi-dex enabled true and minimum uh, SDK version need to be 19 uh, and then all things will work fine I have connected Firebase uh, and everything is done uh, so you can see the package is installed successfully now uh, when when the user is logged into the home screen so at the home screen uh, let's do some magic uh, when we send notification from the uh, firebase dashboard then it will receive it up there firebase messaging dot we have to import it okay i think this is not package is not uh, installed i think sometime it gave it problem by clicking on pubget uh, then uh, alternate uh, way of doing that is flutter pub get and uh, in this command it get grab the package from the internet and install it successfully uh, now firebase messaging now you can see uh, we are able to uh, import that package uh, dot instance dot on message yeah oh sorry uh, firebase messaging dot on message uh, you can see this is the way to listen to the messages that are coming from the firebase so uh, this is one line of code the magic thing uh, we have implemented now let's print it out there when we receive any message from the firebase mm, fcm message received okay now uh, let's run app and try to uh, get FCM from firebase dashboard so what you have to do next now you have to go to the cloud messaging section okay it's loading come on uh, my internet connection is a little bit slow that's why it's taking time you can see uh, I have sent some notification before for testing purpose uh, after app gets run successfully uh, then we have to create new notification uh, here uh, we have to pass the notification title notification description will goes here uh, let me all right let me prepare it test notification this is title you can see here it is updating up there test notification example after writing these things click on next okay so if you have successfully registered your app with uh, firebase then you will be able to see this your package name then you select the app and click on next uh, and there are uh, way of uh, sending notifications you can schedule notification or you can instantly send notification to the user uh, in this video we are uh, instantly sending notification to the user so uh, my schedule is now and click on next okay these are some uh, configurations uh, the sound is um, disabled by default now let me enable that enable and uh, before review let's wait the app get run then we will be trying to send notification to the app uh, as uh, app get runs now for now i am stopping the video right now
So now app is uh, running. Uh, now it is launch. Uh, let's wait. So it get prepared. <coughs> so uh, get material has been initialized and created. Now before doing that, I have uh, forgot about one thing. Is that uh, we have to go to the main, and there we have to create one more callback. Uh, this callback is basically uh, for the background purpose uh, we have to do it like firebase messaging uh, firebase messaging dot uh, on background messaging so yeah this one uh, that will basically create you uh, a background handler so there we have to create a journal method handle background messaging and click on create method so basically this is the function that will do uh, the uh, best thing for us and there we can print it out the message that we can receive on background or usually uh, this, uh, this space is uh, when someone click on notification and you want to direct to a specific screen uh, then basically this is the right place to handle notification click listener notification click listener so um, I think uh, it's it's done till here um, let me check okay 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 Firebase messaging. Uh, okay, uh, let me create another one. Future void Firebase messaging background handler it basically take a remote message as a message uh, as you can see it is future so we need to make it async and uh, we can print anything here or as I have discussed that this is for the on click listener on click listener right and we have to pass this call back to the on background message yeah you can see it is now working so we have to restart it again and check the magic yeah you can see firebase messaging background service started so uh, we are at the right place now uh, data is loaded we have to uh, switch our application to the backend to the background and there we have to create one campaign suppose uh, I'm creating one campaign uh, I'm naming it as test campaign and description of test campaign sorry for spellings I usually make mistake in spellings and next now and then sound enable and review and publish so the campaign was successfully saved and come uh, now let's let's wait for the application to receive the message uh, exactly after one minute I got the notification I have stopped the video because it usually take time but that time it take only and only one minute to receive notification from the dashboard you can see uh, test campaign description of test campaign so hurry you guys are now able to implement FCM and you can uh, send notification to your clients to your customers to uh, everyone that you want to send notification from the uh, messaging dashboard so guys uh, in the next video i'm planning to make a video on how to send push notification to specific users 
or specific device you can say so for that video stay tuned and please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and like the video